What is the law of relativity? If you've ever wondered how the universe works, especially when it comes to space, time, and gravity, you're probably curious about the law of relativity. Let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand. The law of relativity, formulated by Albert Einstein, is actually made up of two main theories, special relativity and general relativity. First, let's look at special relativity. Introduced by Einstein in 1905, this theory explains how space and time are connected. Here are the key points. There is no absolute reference frame. This means that you can only measure velocity or motion relative to other objects. The speed of light is always constant, no matter who measures it or how fast the person measuring it is moving. The laws of physics are the same for everyone, no matter how fast they are moving, as long as they are not accelerating. Special relativity also introduces some interesting concepts, like the relativity of simultaneity, where two events that are simultaneous for one person may not be for another in a different frame of reference. It also explains length contraction, where objects appear shorter when they are moving relative to the observer, and the famous equation E equals mc squared, which shows that mass and energy are interchangeable. Now let's move on to general relativity which Einstein developed between 1907 and 1915. This theory explains how gravity fits into the picture. Here's what you need to know. General relativity says that massive objects warp the fabric of space and time, creating what we feel as gravity. Imagine a heavy object on a trampoline. It will create a dent, and that's similar to how massive objects like planets and stars warp space-time. This warping of space-time affects not just objects, but also light. For example, light bends around round massive objects, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. General relativity also explains gravitational time dilation, where clocks in stronger gravitational fields run slower than those in weaker fields. An example to illustrate this is the orbit of Mercury. According to Newton's laws, Mercury's orbit should behave in a certain way but there was a discrepancy that Einstein's general relativity explained perfectly. The curvature of space-time around the Sun affects Mercury's orbit in a way that matches Einstein's predictions. In summary, the law of relativity is about how space, time, and gravity are intertwined. Special relativity shows us that space and time are relative and that the speed of light is constant, while general relativity explains how gravity is a result of the warping of space-time by massive objects. These theories have been tested and confirmed numerous times, making them fundamental to our understanding of the universe.